Two of the Turpin sisters are speaking out publicly for the first time about the horrific abuse that they suffered because of their parents. We first heard about this story back in 2018 when Jordan, who was 17 at the time, managed to escape from her house where she was with her 13 siblings and called the police. She said she did it in order to save herself and her siblings because three of them were chained up in the house at the time. We have abused parents. Did you hear that? Okay, how did they abuse you? Okay, they hit us, they throw us across, they like throw us across the room. They pull our hair, they, they yank out our hair. Jordan and her siblings have rarely spent any time outside of their house, and when they would go out, they would take photos to make it appear that they were a normal family. They were forced to live in filthy clothes, they were barely allowed to ever bathe, and they just had to live in filth. The parents would lock up their food, starving the children, so much so that some of them looked half their age because of malnutrition. Jordan said that sometimes she would just survive off ketchup, mustard, or ice cubes, and none of the kids ever went to school, so when she talked to the police, she had a hard time giving her address or understanding certain words. My address is nine two five seven zero five seven four. So now you just gave me a whole bunch of numbers. Do you take any medication? What's medication? Do you have any injuries? What's injuries? The police showed up at the house and they were able to rescue the rest of the children that were between the ages of two and 29. And when they went inside, they saw things like chains on the bed and the house just a huge mess. Jordan also said she would find ways to watch Justin Bieber videos and interviews and that actually helped inspire her to escape. I started realizing that there is a different world out there. I only knew one world and that was like always being there. I was just blown minded by how different it is out there. And I was always like, I want to be out there. I want to be like that. I want to experience that. All 13 of them ended up spending two months in the hospital recovering from the abuse and their parents, which feels weird to even call them that, they ended up getting sentenced to 25 years to life and they'll be up for parole after 22 years.